See, Dylan's never had it. So I was like, no matter what, because we were going to get burgers at Captain Mike's because it just smelled fucking phenomenal next well, day. It's right, and it's right there. Oh, no. Welcome to the Gentleman's Den. Four out of five dentists approve it. And that fifth dentist is an asshole. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh yeah. That's right. Four out of five dentists, baby. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Sean and Frankie. First time oh, ever. Oh, shit. Without Jeff. First time ever. <laughs> I'm excited to do this. I've missed my little brother. We we don't talk as much as we should. I'm, it's, I know. Been, I haven't been out a lot, around a lot lately, but dealing with my own family issues, Pops isn't doing the greatest, so I haven't been around as, as much, but I did talk to Jeff really, and he was like, well, we're going to do one tonight. I'm like, well, I'm going to have a few drinks tonight, and we'll get on. I honestly don't know what planet Jeff's on right now. I'm curious where he is. He's doing cake flips on the rings of Saturn right now. Jeff also had the entire niece and nephew squad over yeah i, I think kayla's He's, real yeah. busy and I, I think jeff's more the one that's on a bunch of 50 50s and on some yeah. alternate universe right now that Je- jeff <laughs> lost the battle Je- jeff lost the battle tonight so well uh, i thought he was gonna be on like i said because i went over and dropped my motorcycle off at tony's shop today and he's like, yeah, Jeff's coming over tonight. We're getting fucked up. And I was like, oh, yeah. Jeff's like, yeah, let's fucking do it. I'm like, all right, I'll try to hop on. Well, so, well hey, I've been there. I have been there before. Let's be honest. If, <laughs> if it's a day ending and why, Tony's getting fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I, I, we were talking about that. I don't know how that guy fucking does it. He makes... Jeff makes me look like a bitch when he drinks. He could drink like a whole bottle of Tito's. And I mean, at that point, though, he's pretty fucked up. Yeah. But from compared to what I drink, I mean, I might, like you would say, the vitamins, I might take a little hippie lettuce to, to even me out. But that's that, and that kind of fucks you up on a different level. So I, I get that. It's what we've always said. See, the, no, the problem with you is. I've had 14 beers, and then you walk around, there's eight half-drank beers all over the place because you lose I don't your, know about cause, that. Because you go outside, because you used to go outside to have a smoke, and you never would bring your beer with you. I would just buy, I'd be double-fisted. I would just buy so many. I Honestly, I know you guys say that's the thing. I've never poured a beer out, Sean. Not it, once, not ever. I'll leave it, I, I'll leave it on a table. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I understand that. I have. I I fully have poured beer out. Because and I was dying I, when we were walking through the park. We're like, where the fuck shot? Like we look over and we see you off to the was, side by like the beer stand. You look, you look, you're just like we're like, it, hey! It was piss warm and I could not get any more into my system. It was get, to the po- warm and- like, no, like I couldn't even swallow. At that point, I drank so many beers. It was, I was full of barley and hops up to my fucking neck. And I couldn't. I'm there right now. I broke the seal. I've had at least probably a six pack so far. This will be my sixth. I don't drink. I know I seen you shotgun it in like three (laughs) seconds. It was like a quick glimpse. I was like, wait, what just happened? I heard a pop top and. I know it's, uh, it's become a uh, kind of a the la- I did it last podcast too. Jeff didn't even know I was doing it. And I, <laughs> I was just. I, Jeff, I, it's you guys sometimes are at different levels. You also fucking can throw them down and and I, I mean I like to just four or five shots of Jameson and I'll just sip on a on a pop for the rest of the night. I'll do that, but I don't know. You got to keep a water in between. It's ever since the boat days, there you go. I uh in a beer while you were talking. How you like them apples? <laughs> I feel like I'm not even joking. Having a beer in between, like when we were drinking on the boat, you'd go through like an 18 pack yourself. But then like you start putting the water every three or four. 
Never wake you up with a hangover. A whole hell of a lot better if you have that water in there the next day for sure. Oh, dude, it's it's the difference. And that's why Jeff never gets fucked up because he drinks literally just vodka water on ice. It's maybe a dash well, of little Mio. Vodka you know. water Mio and then right. <laughs> Well, that's why he never has a hangover. He gets right. fucked. He gets yeah, he does get fucked up. Silly. That's what I'm saying. There's levels to that shit to where, like, I can't keep up with Jeff. And I've tried, and we've gotten to those points where we've tried to go like that. See, empty one empty down. One down. I have my level. Like, when when I get blackout drunk, I'm, an, I'm a fucking monster. I, I hit a certain point, and I just, it becomes right. a burnout. Like, I'll remember bit pieces. See, I, I remember bits and pieces of the night because I'm fucking so stoned. <laughs> See, with Frankie, Frankie, you can tell when he's fucked up because he'll just keep saying, man, I'm fucked up. Man. <laughs> I'll let you know. Jeff, when Jeff is fucked up, first off, you can see it in his face. His face changes. Right. His, he, gets raccoon, he gets raccoon eyed and his eyes are always wide open. Like he just he fucking gets scared. real close and touch it. Yeah, he gets real <laughs> close. And then he starts sneezing. Yeah, he Jeff's always tell, sneezes. Jeff's tell that he's hammered is he sneezes. Gets the music. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm fucked up. And it's nonstop for like 20 <laughs> minutes straight, just constant sneezes. <laughs> oh shit but like i said he'll make me look like a bitch and the thing is tony Don't... makes him look like a bitch like there's last levels. year at elf cart lake tony started drinking at like 6 30 he's like i already got fucking eggs and bacon there's burritos he's pouring a fucking 50 50 50 already i'm like damn I'm like my like, wife you you drinking just like no nah, not yet i'm waiting till we get to the track and shit doesn't start till later and then at like midnight, I think it was, him and Dylan stopped drinking uh, shots. And they were like, dude, we're drinking, you know, vodka, water, and fucking Captain and Coke. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I still got like over a half a bottle of Patron left. Like, do some shots with me. And we were doing. Yeah, but um, Frank, um, see, this, the problem, crunch. This, is, this is the problem with you, bud. I love you. I, I really do. But we don't have to finish the bottle every night. Why? It's a mission. I want to complete you can do, my mission. You can do a half bottled Friday, a half bottle Saturday. Well, that you was the thing. It was already Saturday. It was last night of Elkhart. You know how that is. But I we did ride the bikes there that, that, that time. So I didn't drink like the whole day on the bike. And then we put it back on the trailer on the way home. Yeah. So I pound down like six shots of Jameson trying to catch up. But at midnight, I was still throwing down the rest of that the Patron doing the cinnamon toast crunch shot. And every single time, Tony's like, what the fuck? Give me another one. He finished the whole bottle with me to like 3.30 in the morning. Because and he, he almost drank like 24 hours straight. Senior vet, bro. Dude, Tony's, Tony's that, senior vet. He's the, that next. He's that next level up. Like, that was, think about it. Tony's at that level where, it, like, we had that run at the house. When I had the house. We had that Tags in an hour, not even an hour. It where it was 9 o'clock in the morning and you could hear the beers cracking. We oh, had, dude, my we favorite had, thing was the beer wall, smashing it in the fucking corner. Dude, I would build it again. I would do it again. In a you just want to chug them so much faster so you can slam it against the wall and shatter well, it. The problem is, is it, it just it went from regular beer bottles to fucking full handles of Captain. <laughs> handles. We so broke. I mean, Jeff you know, finishes a fucking this. handle of Tito's in one night. We broke cinder blocks by throwing it into the wall. I mean, there was a hole in one of the fucking blocks. I mean, there was holes all over that fucking place. <laughs> bro, but like I like I, I've said before, like I said on the last podcast, the walls can talk in that place. We'd all be Dude, the times. Oh, Just man. full, full outragers. I mean, it was, it was at that point too, where it was just kind of like no fuck given. Just every weekend, that was abundance of that drug alcohol. Was the definition of YOLO. Right, that was YOLO before YOLO. 
balls to the wall, music cranked. But isn't that everything <laughs> when you're younger and you're that age? Like you, it really is like, fuck it. Like no one wants to go. Everyone's like, oh, I wish I can go back. No one really wants to go back. It's just DFF. you're smarter now. DFF was the rule: drink, fuck, or fight, and that's how <laughs> it went every fucking weekend. We were I fucking. I remember that. I I did a lot of drinking though. Drink well, then D- Jeff and I started DJing, and it was fucking drink, 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 White Castle, drink, drink. Dude, <laughs> I was just talking about Dylan's like, I don't like White Castle. Like, he had it for dinner, and I was like, dude, the only time you could ever eat White Castle, I mean, it is good, but, like, only when it's 3 a.m. coming back from the bars, getting a Crave case and just 10 apiece. Dude, fucking... a Crave case and a half-hour drive. Oh, yeah. You, you you can by the time you get back to the house, you're already like you got like, one finishing. left in the box and you're ready to puke. <laughs> 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 fucking full of it. Oh god, dude. All those That's times and that's what I mean. Enough. Like I'm smart enough now to know if I'm puking at the bar and I could barely fucking dance on the dance floor, I probably shouldn't drive home an hour. Hey, by the way, uh Steph says hello. I talked to her this week. Oh, well, hello, Steph, Steph. She's out there in Steph world. Yeah, we had we had a very good crew we ran with. IHOP. IHOP on fucking Friday nights. I know. You guys, you guys are big IHOP guys, man. Never lives up to my Denny's. Bro. There Never was no touch Denny's my Denny's. For sure. I'm sorry. I know, but you, you can make a drive to Gertie. I'm adventurous. <laughs> And, and, no, that was near and when we would leave fucking big shots it was nearest place to eat because we are way oh yeah too way fucked. too fucked up try to sober up i got oh dude i got my hopes up today when i dropped off the bike by tony's he's like yeah fucking big star opens at 11 i'm like no it doesn't <laughs> I mean, we went past there. It was fucking empty. Dylan's never had it. So I was like, no matter what, because we were going to get burgers that kept Mike's because it just smelled fucking phenomenal next oh, it's right, And it's right there. Oh, no. Dude, it must be so fucking cold. It's like freezing in here. <laughs> Fuck you, tape. Bye bye, Mickey. <laughs> Gotta frame that shit, dude. Don't I think was like, oh, tape. What are you, fucking 15? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which was a I seriously thought sport. snow was falling off the roof. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, shit. Dude, it's like, hear that shit it's like it almost 50 degrees today, baby. Dude, I know. All the snow's finally melting. That's what I mean. Like, I was going to ride my bike out to Tony's shop today, but Dylan Just picked me up me, and dropped it off. Let me break something down to you. The temperature says 50, but the wind's still blowing off of snow and shit. Oh, dude, dude it's cold. No, yeah. I, I, Dude, I'll be in a hoodie riding back from like night riding at the track and shit and it's like 55 60 degrees still and i'm fucking chilly doing 60 you know what i mean like doing 60 in this shit is like fuck Fucking nah bad. fuck that but i would have been dressed for it i would just wore my snowboard gear and shit mean, don't get helmet. me wrong we did drive to denver with the sunroof open the whole fucking way <laughs> i know dude cause the car fucking reeked but I, I honestly, I still don't think that that was a bad drive. It was like the just over 12 hours on the there, way there. The drive there was great. Yeah, but the drive the home, home was more like the drive home fucking butthole was puckered the whole time. Because I crossed the Nebraska border, and that car was just getting ripped <laughs> to shreds. It was like, all right, cool, shit, we're out of Colorado in Nebraska. <laughs> Fucking two oh, seconds out of Nebraska. That car, the <laughs> fucking doors were off of it. They were. We're gonna set that kind of tone for this trip back, huh? We didn't talk legitimately for like four hours. <laughs> like we were quiet, thinking the cops could hear us talking inside the car. Did, did you see that? No, I didn't see that. I didn't see shit either. Fuck it. <laughs> We, that was a fucking trip back. I don't even. That was. It was so much longer on the way back though, because obviously probably doing the two of us. <laughs> Paranoid. It was a hundred percent doing fifty-five all the way back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you set your cruise for sixty or whatever the speed limit was. You went five miles an hour over because you're like you get that five mile an hour variance. Then you're like, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just like, then, I'm not even then you go. 
I ain't risking it. And you knocked it down <laughs> to the speed limit. I think you're going 57 or 67 or whatever it was. It was. I, dude, I, I still can't believe we did that. I know I, that just came up on my phone, I think, like a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago. It December. was just a random. Was it December? It was December. Time has been fucking crazy. I, I, but dude, I can't. That was like three years ago. Just randomly in Jeff's fucking garage, just like, just, what are you doing this weekend? Not shit. Remember. What about Colorado? Oh like, yeah, I don't got. I got shit going on. I'm like, yeah, I'm off. Let's go. Next thing you know, like 3 a.m. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We really? We really <laughs> going to Colorado in four hours or what? All right, fuck <laughs> it, I'm coming to get you right now. I'll fucking pack a bag. I'll be there in 10 minutes. And then the fact that we got pulled over. I'm pretty fucking Before wasted. Left. Before we even <laughs> Before left. Before we even left, you got a fucking case of spotted cow yep. that we finagled out of a bar. I don't. I mean, I know how you did it, but still, the way that you were able to get that to bring it, so to have it in the morning from Wisconsin to bring for your brother. Yeah. And then the guy's like, "You've been drinking tonight? No, sir. You got a fucking case between your legs. No, we're uh." We're so sober, just getting ready to go to Colorado in about three and a half hours. We went to your I, house. I can't believe that. We yeah. slept for two minutes. I swear to God, it was two minutes. We got up it, to go. It was literally three hours. We got up to go. We got gas. You went. And, we went to go grab breakfast. You had to go back to your house. We <laughs> and then we were gone. Then we were 12 gone. hours straight there. We did get up at six, I'm pretty sure, and like we went back to sleep like at eight. seven. We didn't leave. Yeah. Eight. And, and we then got, like left at eight. We got there in only like 12 hours. It was pretty quick. And like yeah, I said, we were hauling. We were, uh, what, about 45 minutes outside of Denver, I want to say. Yeah, I remember passing the stadium on the way in, and it was snowing, and it looked yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, we go, we go past Mile High, and uh, it was snowing, and it was like 25 degrees, and we got out of the valley. Or it was before. And it was like 50 degrees. Like 60 fucking degrees. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm like, dude, like literally, like fucking and 20 minutes that way. It was. We were wearing, was sh- we're wearing shorts half the fucking time in Denver. Because it felt, it really, it is different. I mean, like my family in Florida, they were like, oh my God, we had to get our winter jackets and stuff. And I'm like, how cold yeah. is it there? They're like 58 degrees today. I'm like, you know, it's negative 20. Yeah. With the wind chill? Fuck out of here. 60 degrees, 58 degrees. I'd be wearing shorts and a tank top at the fucking poolside. Well, that's the different climates, though. I went outside today because it was, you know, decent pair of basketball shorts, fucking taking the garbage out. Don't give a shit. (laughs) Got went and got the mail. I'm like, oh, it's so nice out. But then I'm looking around, I'm like, Come on, this glacier in the middle of my driveway's got to melt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to shovel it and break it. I tried. It's still just a frozen lump of shit in the middle of my driveway right now. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. Like living in the cul de sac, everything gets pushed right here at the end. It's always a fucking ridiculous fucking pile of ice. I can't stand it. But like when I, when I, it's like, you know, you're like two minutes from the fucking grocery store too. Mm-hmm. I go to the grocery store, dude. I'm, I'm. I don't wear pants. I never wear pants. I, uh, I do go into the grocery store just because I, I got this weird thing. Like after seeing all the, you know, the people of Walmart memes, I don't want to end up on there. <laughs> I, I really don't give a fuck. Put me out there. I'd be like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am wearing a shoot that says "shoot your local pedophile," or a hat that says "shoot your local pedophile." Yeah, see, there's nothing wrong with that. When I, when I fucking go to the people grocery store. Oh, I don't have it on. People look at me weird because the mask I wear is a band, like a, you know, old yeah. school bandana one, and people are like, you're going to rob this place or what? Yeah, you know, that's the funny thing about the pandemic is, you know, dressing like you're going to rob a place is standard procedure now. <laughs> right, it's never been more allowed to be a fucking 80s gangster now. <laughs> It's, Straight fucking bandanas and, and you know what though, man. It's I'm I'm at a point now where it's I'm just like let's fucking just keep moving forward. At this point, 
you know, it can't get much fucking worse. Yeah, I mean, things are getting turned around. I mean, I know a lot of people like believe in it, believe don't believe in it, go out, live their lives, do these things. But like, so many more people now are getting vaccinated. The the hype is down, deaths are down. Like, I I'm hoping that I know this year won't be back to normal. Like going to places like and that's the thing too. Like, yeah, hey, let's go bowling. That's cool. And we get to all hang out. And like when you're at your little alley, you can't have your mask on when you drink. But like if you walk around, go to the bathroom or go to the bar, like you got to put it. Like I get to that point where I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'm down to go bowling. But at the same time, I'd rather just wait six more months where I could just fucking not have a care in the world and be back to normal. And it might only be one more month because they just approved the Johnson and Johnson one shot vaccine. Right, and they're like already like I think I heard like a hundred million doses are supposed to get. So, if that's the case, like I said, it, things are just getting hopefully back to normal twenty twenty one. But twenty twenty two, you know, twenty two is my number. It's my year. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. There is not a chance when this is all over, I go out for at least six months because the amount of fucking nuts people that have been cooped up. For a year. I, I'm gonna be out there with them. I, just I, I don't fucking think I'm gonna be. <laughs> going fucking bonkers. I'm probably gonna be fucking going bonkers to be honest. I I'm I'm already there. Like I can't wait for Elkhart Lake. That's, I'm mean, sorry. Like I'm. That's I'm, different. But I'm talking about like going to concerts or going to the bars or going. You know. That's what I mean. Just the everyday thing. Like every weekend. I'm. I already said it. Like every weekend this summer. If we're gonna be out on the bikes and shit, I don't give a fuck what we do. I know we're gonna go to a bar and we're gonna have some drinks and we're gonna have a burger. I don't want to go to a bar I've ever been to. I'm not going to any of the local spots that we always go to. I'm gonna say let's drive an hour that way until we find some bar to get a burger at and then drive a fucking hour back. Like I'm just going to different places. Shit all over yourself on the way home. <laughs> nah, we're, we're uh, we were we were having a lot of fun riding last year. That's what I'm saying, bro. You need to get yourself a ruckus or something. Fucking join we'll the scooter see. squad, bro. We'll see, buddy. We'll see. We'll see. I've, I'm, I've seen some I'm good more, ones on there. I'm, I'm more worried about right now uh, a new washer and dryer and uh, <laughs> replacing some flooring and a water softener in my. Well, shit. I guess supposedly we're getting a stimulus check soon. You'll be getting your taxes soon. You take care of all that. I got my taxes. I just got my oh, taxes. Oh, did you? Look at you, overachiever. I haven't got my shit yet. Illinois, we'd be slacking. I ain't got paperwork yet. You haven't got your W-2s yet? Or your 1099s for you, I think. That's you... probably my my employer fucking slacking. You, you should have had them by, it's the end of January. You should have had them by. Maybe, it's maybe it's the law. It's the law. They got to be at least shipped out by the end of January. Maybe I do have them, and I just haven't gone. Mm-hmm. That could be it, too. Everything, I mean, did, how did you do yours? Did you did go you, to someone? I got TurboTax, bro. I've done it every yeah, year at TurboTax. I just go to somewhere, let them do it. That's why like, I always drag and don't and do it till super late. I go I'm, there. It takes, like, 20 not, minutes. It, t- it takes me 20 minutes on my phone to do it myself. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I would fuck it up for sure. I can't even figure out how to make the Skype work. It's true. Oh, I just got a fucking cat like reflexes. Caught my phone from falling. Look at that shit. You didn't even see. Didn't even skip a beat. No, we're not going to. So last week, Look Frankie. At stew. Last week, Frankie was uh, episode sixty-nine. <laughs> we were supposed to have uh, a, a guest. He couldn't make it. And you were supposed to come on, but I think you were watching four movies, maybe five. I've, I've, I've caught up on some stuff. <laughs> we actually, last weekend, I, I don't know if it was Friday night or Saturday night, actually. We had a, a painting party with my pops. And, that was uh, for sure. Because Friday, like, was it? Because Jeff and I both go, well, I know which one's Mary's. <laughs> <laughs> the good one's Mary's. Hold on, hold on. I feel like I need to post these and have people fucking guess if, which one's mine, which one's my mom's, and which one's my dad's. We haven't signed them yet. We said we were going to sign them again. 
We all watched some fucking stupid video on YouTube and we were doing them and just like watching how they did it and, and trying to copy it. And dude, I was so sucked. But yeah, I yeah. feel like mine was the best. I, I heard I heard your uh, your dad found the magic of YouTube. Oh, dude, I've been telling him about it for fucking years. And then I'm like, just one day I'm like, hey, check this out. And I like turned it on and I was playing some of like his favorite music and shit. And uh, and he's like, what is this? And I was like, it's an app on the TV it's called YouTube. I've showed you like a hundred times. I'm like you can listen to music instead of putting it on your laptop and have a little speaker. You can turn it up, and I'm like, there's like everything on here. I'm like, YouTube is literally off for fucking five minutes. Dude, he he yeah he he won't turn YouTube off now. He's literally watched a thousand painting videos in like the last week or so. It's insane. But I was like, we watched. Uh, uh, <laughs> we were watching some Saturday Night Live. We were listening to music. Those like fail army funny videos. Like he cracks up when people get hurt. He's sick and twisted. Because <laughs> all of us crack up when people get hurt, dude. Let me. <laughs> and uh, one of the videos I showed him was a painting video. I'm like, look, they got fucking like Bob Ross out here. They got these like yeah, you're videos sure. you can watch. I could paint some fucking trees. Dude, all, all of a sudden, I can paint some fucking trees. He's like, just turn that shit back on. I want to see some. I want to see some shit. Let's look. So, look so at you, this one. That's a forest. So you, had to, and, you had to go to the craft fair or the craft barn and go get paints and shit. Bro, I'm bro. like, all right. So I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get some shit. This, he's like, well, all right, we need fucking. You gotta get blue, right? <laughs> then you need sky blue. Uh, you need aquamarine blue. You know, you know. Try to get Twelve different shades of blue, dude. I, dude, I'm like, literally like seven different shades of blue. I'm like, fuck, dude. We're not getting seven shades of blue. We're not getting seven shades of red. Seven shades of yellow. I'm like, you know how expensive this trip to Hobby Lobby is gonna be? I got like one of those kits and like yeah, I have the, the acrylic paint kit where it's got you know the fifteen different colors and the fuck. And no, black this is not all of them, but they're only in like little yeah. little tubes and shit. Like, but I bought like white, like basic colors: red, blue, yellow, red, white. I, I'm probably saying the same one. Black, red, red. A lot, a lot of white and black. Those are the big bottles. And uh, but yeah, no, we we got all this shit. I bought like d different sets of paintbrushes for like three different people. I like I said, I got like a six different canvases and three different sizes and shit. Dude, fucking, you drop a hundred dollars at Hobby Lobby like nothing. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't get anything. Exactly. But he wanted six colors of blue, and he yeah. did it out. The, the first one he did, he got like three minutes into the video. He did it. He's like, hold on, here, throw this one away. I fucked up. Give me another one. Restart this shit. We're gonna. I'm like, I got like six strokes on my fucking canvas. What do you mean you fucked up already? Frankie, this one's for you. <laughs> this is fucking depressing. But he, he got the hang of it, and we, we were good, about, you know, later on. But it took uh, a 10 minute tutorial video, it took us about four and a half hours of painting. And it was just, you know, a good memory. Uh, well, that's, well, that's it was a good time, but still, and, and I'll, see, always that's what, Jeff, that's what Jeff and I were, were talking about. I've been talking about the whole time that you've been going through this. I'm like, we hope that it's. More, more of positivity is coming out, and not just you. He has time. very good days, and I'm very grateful. And to be able to still have those good days and stuff, like we've watched so many series and stuff, White Collar, Burn Notice. Uh, we watched like the Fucking three seasons of Sinner. You're, you're going through you're going through all the USA shows. You know that you're starting to scream. White up. Collar is one of my favorite shows of all time. It is a great you know, one of those crime you're mystery. To scream the bottom of the barrel when you're going through <laughs> The USA series. If you start watching Nip Tuck and shit, we're gonna have some fucking have to do some talking. He just like the spy shit that that burned on as well. We watched that. He was into it, but like we just we're we're almost done. We're gonna probably finish it tomorrow. We wanted to, they actually watched like a couple episodes that went up there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, I said I was gonna do the podcast tonight and shit. I'm like, you guys are watching the boys without me. Me? They're like, you you you'll catch up. Like you, we were just gonna watch one. Oh, I'm finally like, watching the boys. Yeah, man, we just watched started watching it like Thursday night. How so, good? 
How good it's, is it? It's fucking amazing. We just finished the first season uh, last night, and I think we got to, like, episode two of the second season. And, like I said, I think they just watched, like, four or five episodes, like, now. And I'm like, Jesus. Like, so they're almost to the season finale that we're going to have to watch tomorrow. But then tomorrow we're going to do another little Peyton thing. And uh, this Dude. time he wants to do the big fucking canvases and he wants to watch the hour long Bob Ross bullshit. I'm Shut like, up. you know, you it's not that easy. Trees. <laughs> Dude, trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite box for all, all my favorite things is in a little lunchbox that says happy little trees. <laughs> a little toolkit just to be happy. <laughs> But it, it is fun. It's he's funny as hell. He's on morphine now, so well. He, like I said, we have really good days. Shit. He ain't feeling shit. No, he says some wild fucking stuff now, and it's it, it is great. So when there's good days, they're they're good. You, you know, you, but unfortunately, you, there are real bad days too. So obviously, you t- you you t- you keep the good days in the memory and flush them bad days out. Right. So. I, mean, I wish there was more good days than bad, but you but that's know, what makes it, the bad, it, that, that's what makes the good days better, right? That much more special and stuff. So, yeah, it's it's been rough, and like I said, I wish I'd been able to come out more and you know being safe too with him because of how you know obviously with him now in hospice and stuff, but yeah, with his immune system before and how bad you know it all started when he had the collapse lung about like three months ago, and it just kind of progressively yeah. declined and. But uh, like I said, to to have the good day still, and that's why I haven't been around because when there is a good day and you know we can spend time, I want to be there and spend the time and have those memories and stuff. So it's been good. But and and we and we have not knocked you at all for it. We, we I appreciate you guys holding it down without me. Hundred percent supportive of it. We, if we could be there, we'd be there. You know that. Right. I know. It was actually weird. Like I said, I took the motorcycle in today to drop it off. Was only gone for a couple hours, which is like, it's crazy. I like haven't left his side now in like almost three months. And the first like seven weeks, I didn't, I slept on the floor next to his bed. Like I didn't leave his side. And like, you know, like I said, those were when it was more bad days, which is crazy to say the more medicine now that we're taking him off of, the well, better that's, he's getting. That's usually what it is, man. Right, he's, there's so much shit that they tell you. Take this, take that. I mean, he's got a fucking Tupperware thing of like 50 fucking pills he's got to take a day. You know, now he's down to only like a dozen. But it, it's insane that there's like a pill for everything. You know, it's like that. Bad. It's like that scene in Grandma's Boy where she's got the tackle box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Ooh, let's see what one of these do. <laughs> that's that's quite the spread you got there. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> If I do, you're coming. I would have trimmed my antlers. <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, too, like he's wanting to get into edibles and stuff. And I, I'm i like, we'll see. I'm I'm probably going to go get them for him this week. Um, Make sure but, you're chopping them in half, man. You don't oh, need- dude, I'm going to be getting the tens and chopping that into like a quarter and just say yeah. just a little bit and see how it makes you feel. Do the go old in there. I, I, but that's that's what his nurses are telling him to take. It's it's gonna help with his appetite and stuff. But I'm like, you know, you guys don't think his appetite's that good. This is the best he's fucking eaten in like four years. Well, because now he's watching the cooking videos on YouTube. Dude, he is. He's watching this little old Italian lady. He's talking to her, oh fucking Bella. He's like, you got the you. I'm like, Dad. I'm like, oh my god, just crack it up. Like I, I, you know, I try making a lot of the dinners and stuff. So like, whenever I cook, he has to reference like these videos that he watches, or like he's got to reference like something like you know to, to the trick of the trade, like how we'll be yeah, making our job. sauce, and, and you know you got to make sure like he's got to remind you every time. But well, it's, it's like every time you went to work on a car. Right. Yeah. You know he, he's always, he's always been there and giving the knowledge. Now though. He's tipping his hat a little more, like when I'm cooking the dinners and stuff, and he's like, "Holy shit!" He's like, "You actually make fucking pasta better than I ever did." You know, your pork chops are even better. And then like, he's like, "What are you doing?" And like, he's like, "I add just like a dash of water to my eggs when I make my pork chops." And I'm like, uh, "I know you gotta have your water." I'm like, "But 
I haven't told you, I've been adding a little bit of milk, you know, fluff it up a little bit. It makes them a little bit more golden compared to, you know, that, that crunch. Yeah. And, and he's just like, oh, my God, like, I, I'm loving it. So, like, it's been nice to like, see those things. And then, like, we watch those cooking videos. Trust me, I've watched more YouTube and crazy things in the last couple of months. You've made fun of Jeff for how many years now for dropping into <laughs> YouTube? It's not me. I don't do it. I'm, and I'm not a YouTube toddler. And now what looks what's happened. You've become it's, a YouTube yeah. toddler. I, like, he's talking about, like, let's make some chicken Marcel and noodles Alfredo at, like, 9 a.m. I'm like, why don't we wait till dinner? Like... All right. Well, not, not, uh, we're having an early lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, but like I said, I, that's that. That is why I gained over forty pounds in the last three months. Uh, I see Tony today, and he's like, "You look good. You lost a ton of weight." I'm like, "Fuck you!" Like, I was two sixty like three fucking four weeks ago. That's the biggest I've ever been. Hey, man. I know, I don't even touch where you're at, but you also got, like, fucking four or five inches on me, so you're a little bit taller. Come on, man, you ain't six foot. I, dude, I'm, like, a fucking... It depends on if I got a hair sticking up. When I got spiky hair, I'm six hey, listen, foot. Listen, man, take, take your shoes like, off. On the top, <laughs> take huh? your shoes off. <laughs> I'm 5'11". Stop. One quarter. 5'9 at best. <laughs> no way. We're going to... Get, we're gonna have to find one of those Jordan measure ups. See like, how tall I really am. <laughs> Hold it at the bottom. That doesn't mean. Yeah, see right here it says I'm six six. I'm same. I'm right there. I'm eye level with Jordan, bro. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, he's got it folded in half. The fucking problem. I'm, no, I, I, I'm close. I'm getting up there though. But yeah, no, I'm pretty fucking round. That's it. That's that's the shape I'm in now. Could always be worse, man. I hear you, but I just want to start, I, like I said, just the stress eating, I was literally gaining almost like 10 pounds a week. And like I, all this food that he, you know, make me this, make, make me pancakes, make me French toast, make me eggs with bacon and sausage and crepes. And, and I'm making all this stuff. And then he's, I'm like, here. Right. Hey, and he's I like, need you to tell good. a story for three minutes. A story for three minutes? I'm going to go take a leak. I'll be right back. So give me something good. I need something good. I'm Jeff's wasted. Like, you don't think I got a piss? This is don't worry. I can tell a story, too. Jeff and I did it last I week. I bet I could take a piss in a bottle and no one would know the difference right yeah. here. Oh, minutes. No, because I piss like <laughs> a fucking 90-year-old. So, uh, yeah, keep telling your fluffy egg story. I'll be right back. All right, fluffy eggs. This is how you make the perfect omelet. First, you start with two eggs, not three. This is a mistake. You don't want three eggs, you want two. You add just the littlest bit of milk. And then what you do is you fry up your ham, you get it nice and well done first. Not burnt, just perfect. A little extra butter in, dump the eggs in there. Then you go ahead, throw in your cheese. You put the cheese in just before the eggs are cooked. You know, I know everyone's getting hungry. Everyone's getting hungry for an omelet. Then once you have your cheese on the egg and it's ready to flip, you go ahead, throw your ham in, you flip that bitch over, manja. There we That's go. Perfect omelet. See, <laughs> see that shit? You always say it's a learning podcast. You just, you just, you just learned them. So, uh, so speaking of TV series, I uh, binge watched WandaVision. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's funny that we just went from the perfect omelet into WandaVision. I have not seen that, and that's something that I want to put on the list. Because it's eight episodes. I said once it hits that eight episode mark, binge, I'll hop binge. in and binge it. Dude, it's different. It, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's different. It's on Disney it's Plus, Plus, right? right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Like I've I've had Disney Plus since it came out. I've watched the X Men cartoon series, and that's it. That's the only you thing. You haven't I've watched The Mandalorian. I have not. You have, bro. That should be your next binge. And the I haven't even binge seen it, but I'm dying. Dude, the reason also why I binge watched WandaVision is because they're only a half hour long episodes. Four hour. I've done it at night. Yep. That's easy work. 
That's you know what I'm saying. I've watched so many series and shit. So the boys, this is probably even taking like one of the longer ones. Normally, it's like 16 hour sessions a day. I'm watching a show. I'm living the fucking life. I'm like, man, I feel like I'm in New York and I'm a con man and hanging out with Neil Caffrey. And... <laughs> Jesus. And I'm I'm trying to think of what else I've like. I watched WandaVision because I. It's one of those ones where, you know, every time I log on to Facebook, you know, BJ's on there. Another great episode. Another great episode. It's it's fucking good. And it's it's and BJ knows his fucking movies. If he says it's good, yeah. then you know it's a good well, watch. Well, yeah, that's the thing, too, is, uh, you know, this was because we're talking about Marvel right now. This is why I can go to this Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago has a Marvel exhibit opens in March. Hey, I'm like, I, I'm Man's, down to do some shit. You know what I haven't gone to in Chicago that I've wanted to go to? Shed Aquarium? It, yes. I'm going to do it this year. It's going to happen. I, I don't care if I got to wear a bandana or not. Dude, I'll, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm down to hop on a train, we'll suck, down, suck down a couple beers on the way down. <laughs> Jeff's probably at some universe. It's like, that would be a good time to take a pop at Eddie and oh, go man. walk around the Shed Aquarium. I'm going to be talking all right. to him. I get a different, I get a new job. I can go back on the old uh, Vitamin Express. I will get vitamined up and go to the Shed Aquarium and go look at some fucking sea turtles. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, the buzz that I'm on right now is next level shit. I got my buzz back. Only Actually, because I haven't had anything. Sh- if if we're going to the Shed Aquarium, it's, it's going to be the shroomies. Bro, I'm totally down. I I want to go on that kind of journey again soon. I was cracking up because I was talking about a wife the last time when we were at Elkhart Lake and a friend of ours who was stepping over things that weren't there and, and climbed into his jack-o'-lantern that was soundproof of a tent. And I was it was the best. So I, I want I want to get on this journey here pretty soon. And Jeff was like, I don't know. I don't think you'd be a good shaman or fucking yeah, whatever. I'm like, bro, you don't need one. You, you know you, how fucked up I was when I called him? He told me, you're on your own, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't, like when I did one of the, the, not the last podcast that you did with us, but like the one before that was the night I was microdosing all night. <laughs> I went on that I went on that fucking soul cleansing rant at the end of the show that I just like it was like okay this is what I feel and this is coming out <laughs> right now I'm just gonna ride this wave of emotion the, like the I, waves are the thing that just gets you like I wasn't seeing anything weird I wasn't you know colors were a little more vivid everything you know I, it felt like I was in HD vision you know what I mean Oh yeah, everything with your perspective of things were just so much more vivid and just uh yeah, no, I I, I definitely like, like that. Dosing, because in all honesty, that the next day I felt fucking phenomenal. Like my serotonin level was back to where it needed to be. Yeah, sometimes that shit you know, it, it straightens you out and you know, you just kinda let go of some things that you were maybe holding on to and uh-huh. I, I mean it's good and it, um, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's good for everybody. It's good for some people. And that's I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like some of those things though too, I don't know like about the environment you're in. Like I don't know if I'd be able to handle in the shed aquarium. My tolerance I really feel like since I took that like full Yeah, well that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> It's it's microdosing. It's dude, it's, no, yeah, I'm all about microdosing. When, it's, when it's I did a full quarter one night, full I talking to a troll in my fucking pill yeah. bottle of weed. No. I'm like, I can't. Let you. No, I didn't want to go there again. But. What we'll do is we'll get an amount. We'll put it in a blender with orange juice. Blend Ooh. it up. Put it in bottles. I mean, fine blend it. Put it in a bottle. Put it in. Yeah, everybody has a bottle, and we just drink the orange juice. I'm very, that sounds really scary. The worst part of my whole it's thing. It's chug the fucking orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> I might be really high and have cotton mouth and just fucking chug the whole thing. We're marking bottles, all right? <laughs> oh. this, this is happy water. This is well, regular. That's a big thing in the difference of the spores and the caps compared to the stems. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
when I was sitting there, I had like a whole ounce and I was just like on a magical journey, picking different caps up and throwing them in my mouth. And it wasn't until I seen this giant one that was like the size of a sunflower, it looked like. And I was just like, just, ooh. And when I grabbed that and threw it up in the air and caught it and then started to choke on it, was the worst turn you could ever take. It was like the scene in fucking uh, Dewey Cox. Yes. Bad trip, bad trip, <laughs> bad trip. <laughs> Instantly, I remember chugging the OJ because I was choking and I was in a chair and I was rocking. And when I slammed forward, I looked at everybody and it was like the whole room was looking at me. Not just the people in it, but the whole fucking room was looking at me, man. I didn't like it. So I felt I felt awkward. I don't ever really feel awkward. How everybody was, oh, they're gross tasting. Them. Dude, it didn't bother me. No, no, yeah. I mean, it doesn't I'll, taste like it's big and great, but no, it's, it's not, not like, like it's like, like ah, day, but it's I'm not walking like, away, but I got the headset on. I'm grabbing a beer. Oh, it's I, I am a firm believer in microdosing things that come from the fucking earth, and mushrooms are one of them. Yeah, it's it's definitely like I said for some people, and I am more of like I want to do it in like the peaceful scenery. I like to be outside, like the woods, camping, like that. And kind of more of my flow. You said aquarium. See, the, the woods might be the issue because you know you hear the trees cracking behind you. It's like the it's like the scene, it's like the scene in fucking uh, what's it called? Uh, Super Troopers. He's in the back seat. He hears the kids laughing in his ears and shit <laughs> right these snozberries taste like snozberries yeah yeah no i i, I don't know I mean, man i haven't really got to i, I guess i kind of did get to that point but i never like have it to where it was bad to where i was seeing like crazy things like i always wanted to like try acid never have but i feel like that would be so psychedelic to just see things well that's also I, I want to do the dmt thing too Right. I, I would want to do that one, too. But, like, uh, I don't know. At the same time, like I said, things have changed for my body compared to where I would literally smoke, like, like a half ounce and smoke, like, 14 blunts in a day. Just gram fucking logs to the head, and I was fine. And now I probably couldn't even smoke. So I Like, two blunts in a day. The last time I smoked about a month ago and i already had taken i think a week or two off before that i took the two three hits <laughs> man i was fucking orbiting the fucking sun bro i was dude i'm i'm there with you now it's crazy but like at the same time i'm, I'm excited and happy about it because i'm like i can smoke just the littlest bit and it's well, the greatest thing, is- thing. That was the thing about when we went to Colorado. You were just like, dude, let's smoke. I'm like, dude, I can't smoke anymore. <laughs> like, I know. I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm going to go on the roof again and smoke. Like, like, I'm like, dude, just enjoy where you're at. I was a kid in the candy, in the candy store, though. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have five of those, and I'll have five of those, and then ooh, oh, five of those. Oh, you got that? I'll take that. Fucking four different dispensaries. I know, like the first fucking two hours of being in the city. But man, it was it was an awesome time, an awesome place. It was totally worth the trip. I would love to do something like that recently, like again soon. Which Dude, that's I, guess, I guess I always, that's why I always put in to win one of those fucking sprinter vans that are converted to a camper. Dude, I I think would be, it would be a fun, fun trip if we just rented an RV. And fucking take turns driving, and someone sleeping in the fucking kitchen, someone sleeping in the back room, couch, fucking, and we just drive somewhere for, you know, I, I don't know. We, I think we should do at least just one guy's trip a year, whether it's to a cabin in the winter, snowboarding, or Wait, you still RV. Gotta, like, or, you still got to do the Ohio trip, and it's only a six-hour drive. What's the Ohio trip? I don't know. Ohio, full him Pro Football Hall of Fame, baby. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like that would be a fucking dope weekend to go do that. Like we've been saying that forever. Um, but just yeah, I mean, even just stuff too. Like I know we used to go to the gels all the time. 
that's like rough. Like I was talking with Dylan, he's actually they're having like uh him and some of his buddies are having just a guys weekend out and they're like, Fuck it, if anyone needs an excuse, just say it's one of his buddies is getting married like the next year. He's like, Say it's like my bachelor party. So he's like, You've been to the Dells like a million times. Like, I've never been up there. He's like, What do I do? I was like, Oh, all right. And let me give you a few things. I'm like, you could stay across the street from the strip club and be at the edge of Dells and get a cabin. I go, you guys want to, you guys got gamblers? You guys want to gamble a little? Stay at Ho-Chunk, get the presidential suite. You guys could probably not fit in You don't have to do that. Get, go to Red Oaks, stay at Red Oaks, and then you can go to Ho-Chunk one night. I said that too, but they, they, they wanted more of a spot spot. I said, I'm like, because then you can kind of re- go crazy, but I think this is actually coming up at the end of this month or the beginning of like April. So it might still be a little chilly to like. Yeah, I mean, we've we've done that. Oof. Yeah, but yeah, like they probably would go to like a Memorial Day was fucking cold. Yeah, I slept inside of my own clothes, inside my blankets in my bag, in my tent where I'm seeing my own breath. Yeah, no, I uh, I'm pretty sure on those nights I say fuck it, I'm going in my car, warm it up, and then fucking pass out. But you know, you always wake up in the morning, it's freezing cold. But I told him, like, you know, then you guys, other places, too, like, if you want to go to the Ho-Chunk and hit the casino, then end your night there because it's open late, or you can go get a house at the Kalahari. I just love right now room. that you're in mid-sentence and you, you can tell every burp coming out from the beer. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> so fucked up. Like I said, this is, I'm more than a six-pack in, and, like, three beers fucks me up, so I have been feeling it tonight and then like i said i smoked a couple of little little baby joints a couple just numbers. a couple a couple puffs get me to a level where i sometimes i am uncomfortable and says so I, I tell myself now i'm like i wish i wasn't so high <laughs> it's one of those ones now where like before you never looked at the thc content or you oh, dude i don't get yeah, i never gave a fuck i just oh, roll no, another one roll another one because you were like Fuck yeah, I want the highest I can get. Right. Now, now it's like, man, pass me that cotton candy that's like fucking seventeen percent. Right, yeah, bro. I'll smoke a full joint of that shit. Let's go. But that's the thing, like I always still do get the thirty shit. And it's like I I don't think I need that anymore. Like I I, I don't know where I, how I got to this level. I'm like ashamed of myself. Our fans are, are disappointed in me for sure. They're like, man, that motherfucker used to be able to hang. Now, you little oh. bitch. Let's be honest, man. What did you turn? 33? 33 now? I did, I did turn 33. Oh, my God. I don't say that. Oh. 33. The, real, the body starts fucking failing you. Shit starts hurting worse. Well, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm down to... With, with cutting out pop again and hitting the treadmill, I did just buy a new um, Bowflex Valcor fucking leany bikey thing you, that's going to be. I thought it was. I thought you got it already. No. So I got the email saying that it was going to be delivered, and uh, I got the I got the mat that it sits on. <laughs> that's got <laughs> delivered because it comes with a free mat that gets fucking set down so it's, it's like when i ordered my camera and all they sent me was the fucking memory card and i called them the next day i'm like hey man all i got was a memory card and they sent me a camera another camera out and then i had two cameras call them up say hey man all i got get the bike yet <laughs> you get two bikes they did say like when i first went on the site it was like give 12 weeks for shipping and i was well, like that's well, that's because it's the new thing on the market right yeah there's no bike that's like this and when you're dropping almost nearly like two grand on an exercise, it's like, it, it, you know what I mean? Oh shit, what just happened? Just like that, and it's done. You didn't even know. Fucking shotgun and beers. <laughs> <laughs> that was rude. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been on the treadmill and shit, working out and uh, hitting the weights a little bit and doing like body stuff, but. Cutting out the pop, drinking just water, cutting down my calorie intake. Like I said, like I was making all these meals. My dad be like, oh, you know, make me some pancakes and sausage and some bacon. And then I'd make it for him. And then he's like, ooh, dude, can't keep you know, my medicine. Uh, it's not, I'm not hungry anymore. I'm like, what the fuck? 
I'm like, well, he's like, just eat mine. I'm like, well, I made four pancakes for you, like six sausage links and like six pieces of bacon. And I made four pancakes for myself and six sausages and six pieces of bacon. So you want me to eat fucking eight pancakes, a dozen sausage and a dozen <laughs> pieces of bacon? All right, <laughs> challenge accepted. That was the story you're telling us. Is it one package of bacon the serving size? <laughs> like, no, That's dude. It was. I always I eat the whole pound. I don't ever it's cut it up. And size. Now I know. Now I cut it down into like two or three different times. Put it's it like in a two Ziploc pieces of the service, the serving <laughs> size. Nah, man. I was eating every every Sunday a whole fucking package of bacon or the whole package of sausage. You just power through. You, you'll, get, you'll get her done eventually. Take your time. Yeah, but that's, that, that's how you go from being... 250 down to 180, going back up to 260. Talk about that fucking fluctuation in a year. Yeah, I'm a. I think I'm down about seven or eight pounds with just the intermittent fasting I've been doing. I weigh myself. I think I've lost over 25 pounds in just the last month from hitting 260 and being like, wow, like this mirror is not round enough. Well, yeah, it's. Well, it's, it's for me with how it's coming off though too is I know it's weight weight coming off and it's not like water weight and yeah I it's... probably lost like twenty pounds of water weight from stopping drinking pop. I just I feel physically better. So I, I, know, it's, I know it's worth it. I can't drink a gallon jug like you. I like my sippy cups. Well, normally it's out of this bad boy right here. Which is oh, shit. 64 ounces. Is that made out of platinum? No, I got the one that's stainless steel, so it's <laughs> it's hypoallergenic, and you don't get all the gross stuff growing what in it. What is it, hypoallergenic? Hypoallergenic. I can't say it. None of the, uh, the gross shit sticks into it. Like the, if you have saying there's gross shit in my water. Well, you know not to leave those in your fucking car, right? In the summer, because it puts all the BFCs into it. I also grew up in a generation where you guys said it was okay to drink out of the hose. (laughs) It was okay to drink out of the hose. You just got to let it run until it got cold. You don't drink the warm water out of the hose, duh. Well, yeah, obviously, but I'm just saying. I drink out of the hose because I looked up to you guys and was like, well, if you're going to drink out of the hose, I'll drink out of the hose. <sighs> Bro, we're fucking. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you about some crazy shit. Like, you know, like you got to use distilled water. You ever see those fucking machines that you put in your nose and it cycles out your fucking snap? Yeah, the Navage. Yeah, if you use tap water, there's oh, like. Yeah. yeah, you're putting fucking all the bullshit in your face. Dude, it, it, there's like literally like parasite shit in there that if it's not distilled and it goes to your brain and fucking kill you, like yeah, I, I, you better really read those directions. When you, you, didn't, know you have to use distilled water. It says it on the package. Use distilled water only. I distilled my distilled water. I mean, I take it no chances. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking the st- you're boiling distilled water and taking the steam and putting it back into st- making it distilled again. Exactly. Fuck it. I don't know. I, you know how I am with sinus things. I'm to that point where well, dude, pretty you, soon here. You're fucking major surgeries. Your fucking nose and your head is fucked up. Jaw, my neck. I'm not I'm saying like, they get it all done. I'm not like saying your brain, but legitimately from your <laughs> traps up is such a fucking shit show. Like, I know, I literally have like a 90 degree pinch in my spine and my neck and smashing through a car window. I have a dislocated jaw that is completely and chopped down to where they got to put a metal rod in. Grind your fucking teeth. I like grind my fucking teeth. In your and I only have one fucking nostril because I had a 12 hour bloody nose and they put a fucking three foot cloth in there and concaved my sinus cavity. So. <sighs> Yeah, let me get a deviated septum. Let me get a rod put in my jaw. Like, let them break my neck and I'm, fix I'm it. I'm really and, hoping and I, my lottery ticket pays tonight. <laughs> so I can just be like, too. hey, 
Hey man, fix this fucking guy's face. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> well, like I said, the big thing is you don't think I've been on the podcast now. It's just the time I should be doing it. They they said there's a good chance when I fix my jaw, it'll be wired shut for like a couple months. Well, dude, that's why. How you, will I survive? Yeah. Hey man, dirty bulk, dirty bulk like a motherfucker. So you're fucking huge. And then when your jaw's wired. All you're doing is drinking insure milkshakes. I'm already huge. You, no, man, you hit three bills. Hit three bills. You fuck like a motherfucker. And then you get done and you just work out the whole time while your jaw's wired and just get jacked city. I'd just be growling at everybody. Oh, I'll fucking testosterone down. <laughs> just, just drinking instant breakfast and milkshakes at all times. I, I can't do solids of my liquids. I would literally, I would literally like live on probably like milkshakes and I don't know. I would just like dab soft serve, soft serve ice, ice cream, cream. <laughs> blending, blending fucking, blending. DQ would be my spot. I do that every day. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's funny, you know, the older you get, like you, you find yourself doing like you're looking at I'm like now when I grow grocery shopping, I'm in this fucking never ending cycle right now. I buy the same groceries now for my yeah, you, gotta, you know what you're gonna make on Monday and Tuesday it's, and Wednesday. It's Thursday, it's, Friday's I, pizza night. Oh, <laughs> by the way, uh that picture that thing of soup I sent you and Jeff in the text. Yeah, the cream of chicken rice. Dude, it tastes like Dino's. And all you do is add hot water. I, I know. So uh, we're, we're on to some mystery shit. Well, we, can, we can always use that as a res- resort, but I also know that the head chef that used to work there that opened up another restaurant a couple blocks away does have soup, certain soup nights and use a lot of the same vendors. So there is a chance that we still might be able to find that shit. We will find out soon enough. I don't know if they're open or not, but Dude, when I'm they a, do open back up. I'm going to tell you, I, I will I will buy, I will spend another $10 on soup and give you a box of this stuff because all you do is add <laughs> hot water and let that shit sit. Get some it's exactly the same. Well, I was going to say, you got to get some soft soup. rolls because I'm a dipper. I'm not really a yeah. soup eater. I just no, dip. No. It's it's the soup, dude. It's because I love that's my favorite soup. And if you go to a restaurant and there's chicken and wild rice, and it's not the creamy, keep it's it. Got, yeah, it's, it's got to be creamy. Here. And it's it's called Bear Creek Creamy Chicken. All you do, Bear Creek. Bear Creek. See, that's even more of a fucking you know. It's a sign. It, it's a sign. Like getting that before the Bears game growing up all those years, like they made it to a Super Bowl on going to get that soup every Sunday. Like I said, <laughs> and bear, win, but. Cream, creamy chicken and what I think it's white and wild or it's just white rice. It's fucking phenomenal. That's Dude, my I got so many new dishes. Telling that's you my lunch now. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Yeah, come on over, I'm gonna be cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're soup and rolls. You're soup and rolls. <laughs> you're soup rolls. A fucking. I bet people, if it was ham and cheese and rolls, omelet, people would be like, oh my god, god. Soup and rolls, a ham and cheese omelet, and a white milk with a side of bacon. Oh, bro, I get this pepper bacon. I'm telling you, it says on the package, guaranteed. You don't think I know your order? And make sure that white milk comes out with the food. <laughs> with the meal, powder. please. <laughs> Don't you want a fat shit. tip? Make that milk come out with the meal. You get that right, I'm giving you a fat tip. I'm like, oh, man, my girls are going to all those places. <laughs> or, or dude, whatever it is. Hey, we're, we're not sexist here. At the yeah, I'm not being sexist. I'm just saying. I, I kinda, it kind of sounded that way in my head while I'm drunk. I was just like, if you, like, if you hey, bring girl. my soup out, if you bring my soup out, <laughs> Maybe I am sucked because I, I feel like I give good tips to the dudes that get this shit together. I feel like it might just be always a little bit, a little bit more for a girl. Does that make me a bad person? Well, I feel it's... like men should get equal wages from other. <laughs> <sighs> Let me ask you a question: Are you are you tipping the dude masseuse as much as you're tipping the female masseuse? Nope, nothing right there. I'm not. 
I'm not doing it. It might have even felt better. But it ain't, it ain't <laughs> he got in there naked. So, he got in there so deep. Popped all them fucking pops. Bro, I need to go. I want to go to the thing on the on YouTube. I, that is something Dr. I keep doing. High Tower. Yes, dude. That's it's my like guy. Fucking magician, man. I I'm I don't care where he's out of. That would be a trip. New Mexico. To go like to his, his, like New his, Mexico. Yeah, Albuquerque. I'm he'll, down to go to New Mexico. But you gotta be go. really. You got. Yeah, you I don't think I'm pod. following that. Let's, let me, let's hope this podcast takes off so we can, <laughs> so we get Doctor Po Fix out. Fix my here neck, please. <laughs> Oh, uh, right, so much shit. There's bones sticking out of my knee. So we're at an hour, bud. Already? Yeah, baby boy. Man, man. time flies when you just I'm, shooting I'm, the breeze, having a good time. I'm super happy you did this tonight because it was just gonna be me babbling about nothing. If you did. <laughs> it would have been a no fucking hour long the- omelet video. <laughs> Yeah, this is how you make it out. Yeah, I'd be sitting here stirring the fucking. Ah, oh, man, look at this. But no, let's add a little bit more milk. Yeah, it's you know, we, you, Jeff, and I are so fucking close that like when one of us isn't here, we can fucking run all day and just shoot the shit and keep it rolling. You and I have done different things than Jeff than all of us have done together, obviously. Life, man. Life, there's so man. many there's different so many... journeys and different stories and different mm-hmm. connections you make with people that you 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 literally hold that moment special and maybe it could be sometimes be one-sided but it's a moment and a memory that you had with that person that no one could ever take away that's what i mean like i've been in a, in a ton of relationships and all right stop. we're gonna stop there for a second <laughs> You got to give a story of the either the weirdest place, the freakiest oh, thing, God. or uh, I mean, we we've already talked about the stupid girl that was trying to turn the press play on the TV. We, she she don't count. She don't oh, count. She was a real the, nurturer though. The, the power the power went out and she couldn't start her car. You know, we, 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 I date real winners. <sighs> but. <sighs> We need because we had what happened what Jeff and I talked about last week, which I I uh, I told the squirter story, and he told the <laughs> the fucking in the neighbor's yard story. So so we so episode sixty nine was more of a sexcapade. Yeah, it, well, yeah, because it's episode sixty nine, and okay. we were trying to get Steve on. And he was with the family in Miami Beach. He would have had some stories. See, I said, I mean, I, I feel like I could talk the whole, whole another hour about this, but oh, you just gotta give us one. You gotta give us your, your your favorite because mine. You have to listen to the episode because I can't <laughs> tell it again because it was it's fucking funny. I'll tell you <laughs> once we close it out. I'll tell you the story. That's that, that, yeah, that that's teasing though. If you did listen to last week, just go listen. Yeah, you gotta listen go back and shots because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, Francis, we need one. Man. We, I mean, yeah. What you got? I, I feel like some of some of the good ones have been told. Um, in the woods where people are fighting and girls saying things they shouldn't be saying or or lotion parties with a couple different best uh, friends right, that just. Right there. That's the story that needs to be told. Because it's a lotion party. That's fucking fun. <laughs> Lotion part. I feel like it's been told out here though. I don't, that was just, I don't. I don't remember hearing that one. That was just. I was um, friends with you know various different girls and stuff. And there was a time where you know I'll still admit it. I still t- to keep this beautiful complexion going. Uh, not looking the greatest right now. I haven't seen the sun in three months. But I'll go <laughs> fake bake it and go tanning sometimes. You know. <laughs> Get the raccoon eyes from the glasses off because okay. I'm gonna take them off. If you went, if you went fake bacon now, it would smell like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit more to love now, a little more to Chris. Right, I, I remember getting super burnt, and I'm pretty sure it was from going in a tanning bed and using this like ridiculously expensive fucking lotion that makes your ass tanner than your face, and. <laughs> 
I was I was super sunburnt, and, and a couple of girls that were good friends were like, "Yeah, like let's hang out tonight. What are you doing?" I'm just like, "Ah, you know, going home, tanning or whatever." Like, yeah, we'll meet you over there. And they went and they stopped at uh, Superb, <laughs> which is a a adult video store. Adult video store slash head shop. Hype shop, head shop, and. Uh, toy shop and shit so they got some different toys and they got some different let's, movies let's, let's be honest it's a fucking porn shop that has bombs <laughs> there it's, you go that's the best it's, description you'll get it's, it's when you're fr- when you turn 21 years old or is it 18 you gotta stop 18, is it 18? Sure, yeah, 18. It's 18 when you turn 18 years old it is a rite of passage i'm pretty right, sure right. your 18th birthday jeff and i took you I think it wasn't the 18th birthday, but I think maybe the next day, because my 18th birthday was the strip club and a night that I didn't make it through. I didn't even make it to the fucking parking lot. The 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 drildo night. Oh yeah, maybe. maybe I think your 18th was the stripper at your house because I wasn't there. Oh god. But I took. You know how embarrassing it is to be getting jerked off in front of family. All right, never mind. Yeah. That, that, that's so, not the most to, fucked up story. I'm telling a different one. So back to your lotion story. <laughs> so they stopped there and had some some things and shit. And uh, they ended up coming over. And I'm just like, just holy fuck. Try. I'm beat red. Don't, yeah, don't touch me. I'm fucking sunburned. My skin's on fire. And somehow one thing leads to another where it's like, hey, let's. Take your shirt off. Let's put lotion on your skin. Hey, let's watch this movie that we happen to get today. And next thing you know, me and two of my best friends who happen to be best friends. These are females, by the way. This isn't me and Jeff over there rubbing lotion on Frankie's body. Come on, guys. That would be one hell of a story, let me tell you. I'm not telling those stories. Look at how brown these were two. Those are two lovely ladies that... I'm pretty sure listen to this podcast, so I'm sorry. Try to keep it as. <laughs> hey, you're not saying names. We're good. Right. I, I know. I'm just trying to be respectful still. And it turned into one hell of a glorious night that turned into a repetitive thing on a weekly basis that turned into kind of like a three-way relationship that. You were a thruple. Didn't, you know. I'll tell you what, I should have married them both. I'll tell you that. That would have been a beautiful relationship. But things obviously don't work out when you're young and dumb and people are not always the, the, the best choices are made. Like I said, those parties that we had and things that we did when we were younger, I would never, ever want to change it. Because some of the times I had, like I said, with some of the people and some of the memories, and the emotions that you ch- shared, whether it's girls, your your friends, your your family, those are what make life great. Perfect way to end it. With that being <laughs> said, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for listening. Jeff, Jeff says he misses you guys too. <laughs> Come on back next week for another fun-filled episode of the gentleman's den thanks again for listening it it truly means a lot to us you know we are trying we want we want to reach to out to a bigger audience so we know we want to be better and we are trying and we will be just give us give us the time and be patient we we appreciate that so the more you like the more you subscribe the more you pass the word on share you know when I throw up the posts on Facebook or on Instagram. Like, subscribe, share, all that shit. Please. Because, because it helps us. YouTube as well. YouTube. I don't do any of that. So that's why I'm begging for you to help me because I suck that bad at life. Like. <laughs> so, and also, why don't you head over to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den and pick up a shirt. So when people say, hey, What's the gentleman's then? You say, it's this fucking badass podcast with these three fucking <laughs> idiots that are fucking learning the internet as they go. It's fucking great. 
public yeah. service. We're teaching the world. Hey, we're going to listen. We're going to tell you dick and fart jokes. We're going to tell you stories about shit we shouldn't talk about. But we're also going to give you fucking knowledge. We're also going to talk about, you know, dude, we're an open book on this podcast. Like Jeff and I said it last week. Learning jam, we, yeah. we talk about shit that we only talk about between the three of us a lot of the times. Right. Like, Stories uh, that we've talked about as a personal group of just us. And, you know, that's how it should be. Everyone's scared and everyone's everyone's embarrassed about things but if you can talk about it with your friends and family that you love and be open you honestly will feel better about yourself exactly to share you those know, same things each experience is a just that fucking block in the wall of your life why not fucking tell everybody about it you know we don't tell oh. we don't tell names we don't tell fucking you know we don't will we tell experiences yeah, because we've had fucking great experiences. Life is what you make it. You don't dwell on Squeeze the small it for shit. everything it's not. Yeah, don't dwell on the small shit because you know what? At the end, the only thing that matters is that the way I look at it is I want to leave a good footprint in this fucking world. I want to be remembered for not being a piece of shit. That's my goal. And that's the goal. I of this feel time. like I've accomplished that so far. Oh, um, I... At the same I, time, uh, I know there's a lot of have I done that shitty would things. <laughs> have I done some shitty things? Everybody has. Uh, but once again, go to shop.spreadshirt.com <laughs> backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. Pick up a t-shirt. Pick up a fucking sweatshirt. Pick up a fucking bag. Pick up something. Anything. It doesn't matter to us. And learn from our mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Or try to better them. Try to have right. a better mistake than we had. Say like I know if I do this, I'm gonna fuck up. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real. Exactly. The gentleman's den. And if you got stories that you want to share with us, the gentleman's den pod at gmail.com. Send us an email. Go to TGE Podcast one, one on Twitter and Instagram, or go over to our Facebook page at the Gentleman's Den Podcast, and go on. Send us a story. We'll read it on the air. We want to reach out to you. We want you guys to reach out to us so we could fucking tell everybody, tell everybody's story. We, right. Come to some of the locations that we go to. Elkhart Lake. Meet us at the yeah. track. When we when we have an when we have a vacation planned, we will tell everybody where we're going. And if you want to come with us, hit us up. If you want to meet us out there? If we're at the bar, well, hell, we might even buy you. I'll a drink. buy you a drink. <laughs> I guarantee it. You come up to me and say, "Hey, I know you. You're Frankie from the Gentleman's Den." It's automatic. <laughs> it's automatic. Most likely, you're gonna get shit faced with us because we're stupid. Listen, we're 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 just regular fucking dudes. That well, I work forty plus hours a week. Jeff works forty plus hours a week. Frankie, yeah, eventually I'm going savings left and right. <laughs> just yeah, let me just throw more money out here. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks again for listening. You're all beautiful. Francis, any last words? Stay beautiful. I love you. Stay golden, Pony Boy. Stay love.